Good morning, good afternoon, wherever you may be watching from. I am Terry Lynn, Crafting with Terry Lynn, and I'm so glad you are here. If you are catching this on the replay, put explanation mark replay. No spaces all together, no periods or commas after that, and only one command per comment. So thank you for being here, and replays are just as important. And I do give away happy mail on all of my crafts. So that will be, um, participants can, will be until tomorrow evening around this time and you sprinkle it out is how you get on spin the wheel. So you will sprinkle it out and that means that right over my shoulder, caring is sharing and you can do that up to three times. So put this in the comments if you do that and it has to be in public. That's the only way I can see it. And Mr. FB gives me a list of who does it in public. So that's how you'll go on the wheel up to three times. You can do that to get on the wheel three times. So I'm going to refresh my laptop here and see who's joining me. And we're going to use some items I've had for over a year, I guess. And see if we can put it together and do something with it and make it look cute. In fact, it is um, something that I told Talisa with DIY Living with by Talisa uh, Lindsay. Um, she posted a picture of a wood form and said, what would you do with it? And I was telling her this, what I'm going to do tonight. So, of course, her wood form was smaller, but it's okay. So, we're going to see how this goes. Um, hello, Dixie. Hello, Pam. Uh, hello Joy, hello Miss Laura, hello Barbara, and all of you ladies, thank you for being here, my sweet angels, um, and we are going to go ahead and get started. So, you know, these are, most all of this, well, I think these might have been from Target, I think, I don't remember, they were tied together with some jute, does anybody remember, I don't know, I've had them for a while. I know this is Dollar Tree, and I've had, I've got like four or five of these, and actually I've had these for a very long time because when I did real estate, I made um, gifts to give away to my clients, and um, so I've had these since then, um, so for several years. Um, we are going to paint these with some texture paint um, that I got at Hobby Lobby. It's called Terracotta Folk Art, and I've got different colors here. So it's indoor, outdoor. I've got cool concrete. I've got uh, terrazzo tan, and I've got fresh granite um, that I'm going to do. And I'm thinking, and I may do multiple colors. Um, I think I'm going to do these two colors and just kind of do it all. And then what we're going to do is, I already took, I'm hoping I can separate these, and I may not be able to. I was wanting these, but I could only find one of these um, to put in here like they're in the dirt uh, and sticking up and putting our own little greenery on the end, but I only found these, but I also have these two. I think... I don't even remember where I, oh, these were Walmart, I remember. These were Walmart, but I really, I don't think I want to use these. These cost a little bit more, and I don't think I want to use these, but I really would like this to come apart, and I may have to just cut them. They're going to, oh, here it comes. It's going to be buried. It's coming. There we go. They're going to be buried down in, in here a little ways anyway. But see, I like this top better, don't y'all, than that one. This looks more like a real carrot top, doesn't it? Isn't that more like a carrot top? Um, this is, now I don't know where this come from, Hobby Lobby. It was regular $11.99, and I know I didn't pay that for it. So that's what we're going to do. So let's just get started now. This was my first wood form from Dollar Tree that I painted um, over a year ago, probably almost two years ago, before I ever started my page. 
Um, so I did this one. So let's just go ahead and get started. And I think I'm going to use one of my sponges instead of brushes. And y'all excuse my mess. I've got a mess going on. Um, here's what I was trying to do, y'all. Um, my husband brought a scroll, haul, a scroll saw home. Let me pick up. So he brought a scroll saw, and I, I took my cardboard outside, and I sprayed the tacky spray that I used for my notebook, and I glued these three pieces of cardboard together to make it like a piece of wood. And I traced my rabbit from Dollar Tree Plus, the big rabbit that was $3, traced it on here, was cutting it out. Well, I have the wrong blade in there, I guess, so I have more blades he ordered, and I should have them tomorrow. And so my thoughts, remember I've been telling y'all, use cardboard to cut out your forms and keep these for your templates. You can cut this out of, and actually it's gonna be thicker than what this is with three pieces together. But you can save these for your templates, use your cardboard. Now I don't think it's gonna, I don't think those will work great for decoupage, you know, like you'd have to put the napkin for a napkin. I don't think it'll work for a napkin very well because I tried something last year kind of like that and it, and my cardboard kind of buckled, you know, or warped. So it would have to be like construction paper. I don't think you could iron on it. I don't know. Now, Miss Sherry tell me with Curvy Ladies Crafting said you could probably um, put you could probably put Mod Podge first as a sealer over it first and then do it. So I don't know. But but anyway. So I'm gonna use, like I said, this is the textured, it looks like a stone. Um, this is called Terrazzino Tan, and we're gonna use some of this. And I haven't, I bought this to do a project at my daughter's. So I haven't even opened that one yet. So let me, I haven't broke the seal on it yet. So I'm just gonna put some of this out there like that. Let's see if I can open it. So I hope y'all had a good weekend. Um, oh, it's going so fast. Uh, Hilga. Welcome, welcome. If you're new, put explanation mark new. And um, remember, sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. And if you're new, explanation mark new. There we, there we go. All right, let's see how this goes. <clears throat> and I'm just going to just dab, 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 dab. I'm going to get this right here. And then we may, this uh, print on the front of this has a little raised area. So we might be able to do something with that. With um, some um, Tim Holtz or something. And make the butterfly kind of show up and at least the butterfly. But we'll see. I don't know. Not a lot of thought put to this. Just I just have a have a vision in my head and just trying to go with it. Oh, thank you, Barbara. Girl, you know, it's who was it? I, oh, I was talking to Miss Sherry with Curvy Ladies Crafting on the phone uh, today. Probably was on the phone a good hour, hour and a half with her. Um, and she was like, girl, what's all going on that you're not getting on live as much, you know? And so I started telling her all the things. Um, and uh, so it sh should be getting better to where I can try to go more. I will be on tomorrow at 3 doing Craft Around the Clock. I don't know what I'm going to do. I may do this one over here that I was going to do last week. But the Internet was not cooperating last week. I couldn't even stay on for my craft around the clock. So hopefully tomorrow will be fine. 
And so I'll do that. It's going to be the foil technique if I do that project. Even though Valentine's is now over and this little vase has those hearts on the bottom around it, but it's okay. It's okay. We'll do it anyway. So I was cheated and didn't get to do it. So we're just going to continue on and that's probably what I'll be doing. Um, so, and we got the puppy a new home. So Miss Debbie, oh, I forgot to text Miss Debbie. Oh, shoot. Um, I forgot to text her. She's going to get upset with me. Um, Miss Debbie's daughter took, my, took the Yorkie puppy. So she got a new home. Okay. And, you know, that was taking a lot of time, too, because I was, you know, puppies, they got a potty all the time. So I was having to go outside try and try and train her to go outside and all the things. So, oh, that reminds me, I got to feed Maybell. Forgot to feed Maybell her second meal today. No wonder she's following me all over the house tonight. <laughs> but anyway, um, so the scroll saw did pretty good on that, and then the, the blade broke. It's a real thin, skinny blade on this little scroll saw. And this little scroll saw is small, and it's perfect um, for a woman to use. But, um, you know, it's designed to cut metal and um, soft woods and what have you. So I'm hoping it'll work. Because I got some ideas of things I want to do with the cardboard. Because we all have plenty of cardboard, right? Thank you for sprinkling Hil Hilga. Is it Hilga? I'm terrible with names and reading certain words as some of my angels on here know <laughs> Monday through Friday at 1030 Central Time in the morning we do a, a Bible devotion which we call our daily bread and I need and I use a devotion book by Jolie's Joel Osteen's mom and then we're also going through these other books about the spiritual women of the Bible and I'm reading to them and <laughs> big words sometimes get me all tripped up and <laughs> Miss Joy, who's on here, she'll help me sometimes by trying to put in the comments how to pronounce it. I still get it wrong. And then when my husband comes home, I'm like, how do you say this word? And I'm like, man, I was saying it wrong. I thought I was getting it right. I was so proud of myself. <laughs> I said, and I still had it wrong. So anyway, it's hilarious to listen to me try to read. All right, all right, now I'm gonna kind of put a dry on this and get it somewhat dry, and then we're gonna work in some of that other color. Where's my dryer? I'm afraid I'm gonna knock something off of here. y'all had a good weekend. Hello, Miss Stephanie. Uh, Stephanie, put the at sign and your business page. Uh, crafting on a, crafting on a budget. Crafting in a budget. Yes, I have like five of these containers. Because when I was doing real estate, I made these up. Uh, I made these up and put like a pair of gardening gloves in them and a, one of those little metal hanging yard things and some flower seeds. Um, I forget what else I put in them. Those little gifts to drop off to my clients. Just 
going to use the same brush and dip it in the other color, which is I did. Oh, and this paint is, um, it was $3.19 a bottle at Hobby Lobby for this uh, textured paint that looks like concrete. I'm really having a hard time holding this. And I think the sponge does a great job too, putting this so that it's kind of giving it that texture. I'm trying to get this all the way down in the, the, the edge of this thing. It's like curled metal, I'm trying to get it in there. Enjoyed me reading the anointing books, learning so much. Oh, girl, so am I. Learning a lot. In fact, you know, we read the book of Esther first and then the book of Ruth. And right now, what's going on in our government, we need an Esther movement right now. We need an Esther movement. Okay, I'm going to leave some of that peach showing through here that peachy color and let me see if I can show y'all one memento here That's where we're at so far. Hello, Miss Kathy. I'm sorry, I think I missed it. What colors of paint are you using? I am using um, Terrazzo Tan. This is the folk art terracotta paint. So they look like stone. Uh, lightly textured acrylic paint. And I'm using cool concrete, which is what I'm doing on top of that Terrazzo. So I don't know, can y'all see the end of that? So it looks like a texture. And these were $3.19 each at. Um, Hobby Lobby. And I got them to do a project for my daughter. She wanted to change up some of her um, planter um, pots on her patio. And so we never, we never got around to it. So, so I'm using some now on this. So if she still wants to do that, I'll probably have to buy some more. is thicker than your normal folk art paint a little bit. And these are those Dollar Tree tin pans in the gardening section. They have these every year. May have a different design on the front, but the same shape and everything. I've seen them every year there. So has anybody been crafting today? Hello, Miss Bonnie. Yes, this is that stainless steel or that metal whatever pan 
from Dollar Tree in the gardening section. going to have to get a brush to get into those little crevices around there. So, let's see. What do I want to use? Works great. Getting up where I don't I don't want to see any of that sh metal shining under there. Okay, and down here also. It does look like concrete. Okay, and if anybody wants to make sure, or if you want to turn on your notifications for when I go live, you can put in the um, comments, explanation mark, notify. And Mr. FB will reply right back to you and let you know that it's turned on and that you'll now get notifications when I go live or it'll say that you're already turned on. <clears throat> All right. So there's how the front of that one is looking. just put my hand in that wet paint on the other side but it's really difficult to handle this thing to do this so I'll just have to touch it up So did you put the angels on? Did I put the angels on? Did I put the angels on what? Mm. No space, Kathy, between your explanation mark and notify, no space. Okay, redo that again, or just type again in another comment, explanation mark, notify, with no space in there. Otherwise, you're just going to get a list of what my commands are with what you put in there. Okay, I think, I think, I think I got it. All right. All right, now I'm gonna have to touch up where, I gotta touch up right here. All right. Cute, cute. Okay. Oh, did I just see somebody put pound notify? That won't work. Exclamation mark. Hi, Christy. Uh, Christy, it needs to be exclamation mark notify, not notify with the Y. Thank you for inviting a friend, Barbara.
Thank you, Joy, for putting the commands out there. Miss Joy Ruff just put the commands, a list of the commands. All right. Thank you, Miss Stephanie. So there's so much that you could do with this. You could stencil on the front. Um, you could put rub-on transfers or whatever on the front. You could do a napkin on the front once this is dried really good. Um, Christy, I didn't get to see it, but I'm sure Miss Joy or somebody will help you. Can you put the paint color in the comments? I sure will. Um, I will put them after this. Okay. All right. This is going to um, continue to dry, and I'm going to I'm going to try to flip it and leave it like that for a minute, let it still dry, and we're going to start putting our stuff in there. Now, my rabbit that I did a year, year, year and a half ago or so, um, I, need to put a, I need to put a stick on the back for this to go in, and I forgot to get, oh, right here's one, right here's one. Um, so we're going to put this on there for him to stick in here like so. And that's about right, right there. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use some of this, this here, tight bond. And I think I have this in my storefront. So if you look at any of the featured links below, I have different links down there that you might um, want to use. So in my storefront, I have things that I use the most. So let's see. Four. Uh, which is going to take you, you know, to my Amazon associate links. I need to store this like upside down. Hi, Miss Nancy. How long you been following me? I don't see the the answer right now. Yeah, if you put explanation mark followage, it tells you how long you've been following. I'm going to put this kind of down the middle. Okay. And then I'm going to use the hot glue. So these, these are at Dollar Tree as well, okay? So like I said, you could use this as a template and you could cut your, your bunnies out of cardboard. You can layer your cardboard to make it however thick you want. Glue them together, use a spray tacky glue and glue you a couple of layers of cardboard together and then cut your form out with the X-Acto knife or scroll saw or whatever. Um, okay, now I'm going to set this aside and we're going to, we're doing our carrots like this. These are from, I don't know, Walmart or Target or somewhere. Did somebody say where I got these? Because I don't remember. I've had these since last year as well. And I think it's just the glue that I'm cutting. Yeah. Okay. Wanted to separate those. And so I like my carrot like this better than I do like this. Do y'all agree? Give me some hearts if y'all like my way or that way. <laughs> I like my way. I think it looks more like a carrot. So. Target. Okay. Thank you, Bonnie. All right. So. I'm 
trying to stick this back down in there. This little tool, I don't know what it's called, but it's a pointy thing where you can make a hole in something. And I just recently got it at Dollar Tree. So now I just stuck all that back down in there. And this is from Hobby Lobby. So I'm sticking this down in there. And actually I'm having to cut some of this off cut a little bit of that off and then stick that down in there and then I'm going to fill fill the hole with my with the hot glue and we're going to bury these in the pot hi miss Kathy me too. That is what I used to uh, use with my carrots too. Oh, is somebody having to start over again? That will happen sometimes, unfortunately. And it really is disheartening because April 13th will be my two-year celebration, and I really, you know, am, I'm going to be giving stuff away based on how long somebody's been following me, and unfortunately, I have to go by what the, the follow thing says, but anyway, so it really is unfortunate. That's why silent watchers need to comment every now and then. Um, because when Facebook does updates, it just automatically, if somebody's not interacting, they will, they'll take it upon their self to say, she's, she don't want to follow that person. And I know there's a lot of people that are silent watchers. I used to be a silent watcher for some people too, before I started my page. Um, like Driftwood and Shine. I probably didn't comment a whole lot on hers because she doesn't look at the comments anyway because she can't see from where she's crafting from, right? So I probably didn't comment a lot over there. I just watched. But I've been watching her for, I put followage in hers the other day and it was 700 and something days. So I think that's what it said, 700 and something. It was a long time, whatever it was. It was a long time. Now, you know, some of these, you could probably do two of those greeneries in here. Probably look good. All right, we'll toss those. Toss that. Y'all, if y'all watched my, my Easter eggs in the crate, it's right down here. I was thinking I needed to get my Easter stuff out, but I already put it down there. So if y'all missed that, that was from last year, but I reposted it um, to keep content going on my page. Y'all, y'all been bearing with me as I was uh, getting things done from my father passing and my brother less than 30 days apart. Um, I'm still working on life policy and stuff that's, I gotta deal with that tomorrow. Um, so anyway, I got to deal with that tomorrow and fill out some forms and stuff. So, um, and then we're doing his burial March the 6th. Once I get that passed and then of course it's tax season and I do people's books. So it's, I got to concentrate on all that too. Um, but it's soon to be back to normal where I can start be in here more often to craft. So I am going to just cut this down using my hacksaw blade that I keep in here. Okay, I need to cut the corners off a little bit. Okay, hold on. Y'all, let's keep Miss Deb um, and her husband in prayers. Uh, Deb's new again. Also, Rekindle Blessings Sun 
Ryan was in a motorcycle accident, a dirt bike accident, and he's got a lung issue, broken ribs, and just different things. And so we keep them in prayers. I just recently read that from Beth with Rekindle Blessings. Um, and also with uh, Scrappy Rustics, Miss Tracy, she needs prayers and dealing with so many um, illness situations going on. You know what? I think I'm going to cut this down for these carrots to go there. I think I'm going to cut it down. I can always add more if I want. So I'm going to put some glue right there. Let that secure that. He came today and he's doing well to have so many issues. My brother, what? Bonnie, your brother died from a motorcycle accident? Is that recent? Um, I'm going to put this like that, this one like that. So they're not going to be real far apart, but something like that, okay? And then I'm going to put this moss in there. And I bought some more. Y'all, I got two bags in my car from Dollar Tree. I tell y'all, I go shopping and I leave it in my car until I'm ready for it. <laughs> craziest thing but anyway as far as my dad's stuff I still have not gone through the garage you know we had half of our garage set up for my dad a shop I have not dealt with all this stuff out there I don't even know where to begin I don't know what I'm gonna do with all this stuff my son would like to have a lot of it and but my son has nowhere to store this stuff All his leather working tools and all the things. I just don't know what to do. So it's just going to stay there for right now. It's just going to stay there. All right. I think that is good. Is that looking cute or what? And we're going to we're gonna doctor this up. Such a big job. Yeah. It is. And, of course, I still have his closet full in here. I just moved everything into the closet. Um... But, but anyway, Miss Debbie can tell you I've made some progress here in the house because she's been here before. Um, I mean, it's feeling good. It feels good to me to, you know, have things in its place and it makes it easier to keep things. Okay, now I want to put... Oh, you know what? We're going to put a rabbit in there. Is this my front? i got to put my rabbit in there. Ouch! I hit my finger. Okay. Alright. It's going to be like that. Now it's going to make a little back heavy, so... Um, a little bit. Okay, so now I want to put maybe some of these and some of these flowers. Um, you know what? I may want those softer peachy, peachy colors over there. I may have to put me some rocks down in there. Hold on. Where's my rocks? I got rocks up there somewhere. Um, one second, y'all. I know I got rocks here. Right here. Right here, right here, right here. 
These rocks are from Dollar Tree as well. And I'm gonna, you know, the little, the little crack between my floral foam. Also, this will help hold this carrot. Help hold this carrot in the front. Okay, we got weight now. We may even add some in the top after I put the flowers. Hi, Grace. Your husband's been gone almost three years. He was a minister, and I am just now getting to the point I can go through his books and Bibles to find new homes. It makes me cry. Oh, my goodness. I know it's difficult, y'all. We went to Texas Roadhouse the other night, and when I walk in, you know, you usually got to tell the girl how many and give them your name. Sometimes you have to wait. As soon as I walk in, there's a poster showing their ribs, and that's what my dad ate when we went there. And, of course, I started crying. I'm looking at the lady telling her how many with tears in my eyes because that's what dad would eat. And it was almost like I could feel his presence like, Okay, there's a sign that, you know, I don't know. <clears throat> Let me get these peachy flowers. Let's see, I might like these better. And they look more Easter, I think. These look more Easter. Okay. <clears throat> Do y'all think these peach or purple? Tell me what y'all think. Hey, be crafty with Jody. Hey, it's saying I gotta follow you, Jody. I was following you before. Why is it saying that? I just followed you again, girl. <clears throat> Although I have to admit, I've, I've not seen you on lately. Um, <clears throat> y'all, it's hard to see through the tears. Okay, I see purple, peach, purple. Um, purple, make it brighter, earthly, Father. Oh, yeah, bless you for your loving. Yes, ma'am, Bonnie. <clears throat> um, peach, a little both. <clears throat> I think these are cute. Um, and they're from... Walmart. These are from Walmart. These are from Dollar Tree. I wish I had some white ones. I think the white would look pretty too. Um, I got some baby's breath, but let's see what these look like. I will do both, you know. Or I think these would look good with some greenery. Get off there. Goodness. I really ought to try to find some other way to put these tags on there. I think the peach kind of goes with what's going on. And I'm going to put some of these. <gasps> girl. So anyway, y'all, with the scroll, scroll soul thing, I was doing videos. 
I did a video of me outside spraying the glue in between all the cardboard. I did a video of me doing the scrow saw and right off the bat the blade broke. And so let's see if I want to use some more of this. Alright, let's, let's try a purple in there. I have some softer purple. I wonder if the softer purple would look better. Um, let's see. I think this one looks better, don't y'all? Let's just see. Barbara, I didn't even look to see what we had in numbers. That is awesome. Not bad, I guess, for Sunday night. And again, y'all, I will be on tomorrow at 3 o'clock Central. These little carrots they were all orange maybe I should have painted them all orange to to make them look like they're coming up out of the dirt right um, I guess I could do that later if I want it you know if y'all think I should do them all orange Oh, you know what? Let's put some rocks in there. I want to put some rocks in the top. I just think it looks good. Look, I think it looks good. Okay, yeah, I like it. It's looking so cute. Um, Thank you for the five star rating. That helps so much. And y'all, if you want to know how to do a five star rating, please do that with everybody you watch. Um, if you're sticking around long enough to watch them, they deserve it. Um, this is a lot of work, y'all. Believe it or not, it's a lot of work. Um, it takes a lot of work to prepare and then, you know, do all the things. So, um, you would, so what you do is tap the screen and you should see three dots either in the bottom right corner or the upper right corner. Click those three dots next to the last option says to rate your experience on this video and you can do a one to a five star. Okay, that's simple. I wonder if I should leave some rocks and let's see where we're going to put some of these eggs real quick. I think these are Dollar Tree as well. three of these little ones. The, the green, the yellow, and the pink. Thank you, Diane. Save your sticks that you cut off because you never know. You never know.
passing himself along. Okay. These are doll uh, Dollar Tree. And I think they had them in a greenish color. I can't remember. I think. You want your flowers to kind of be in odd numbers. I'm sure most of y'all know that. Many of you know that. But we never know when there's somebody new that doesn't know. So forgive me if it irritates you. Because um, we just never know. All right. I think I'm going to trim this down a little. Right back there in the back this one too. Um, okay, so I don't think I'm using that one. Um, and I could make, even though this has a bow, I did have, I, I just got my box of Easter stuff out of my hall closet out there, and I had this in there. And this was $3.98 somewhere. I don't know where. I probably didn't pay $3.98. Probably Hobby Lobby maybe. But I already got the bow there. So I may just dress this up here. I don't know. So I've got three of the purples. I may do one more of these. And call it quits on the flowers and maybe I don't know if I want to put any of these bigger eggs down in there I don't know now what do I do with that one I just cut there it is yes ma'am uh, joy it is pretty hello miss Cindy Roach thank you oh miss Cindy you're the miss Cindy with the did you put your page in here uh, I'm blank. Sorry. I'm blank. Okay, I don't like the way that one is. I'm going to further down. There we go. All right. I still think this one is just, that's kind of irritating me there on that carrot. I think I'm going to cut this carrot down. There we go. I don't think it needs to be that long. Okay, I cut my carrots green right down a little bit. Um, Cindy's Creations. There we go. Thank you, ma'am. Um, love the peach. Thank you. All right. So, I think that looks cute. I do think these carrots need to be all orange so you see so they stand out um, so I may see I can take it out and I can do orange um, where it's me some orange I'm gonna do let's see this is what is this terracotta hey Teresa Terry uh, there we go. I think I'm going to do this. Let me give me another piece. Let me give me another sponge. I'm just going to do a small sponge. And let me just get me another tray. Look at all my mess, y'all. Look at this mess. Let me, let me clean up my mess. Here we go. Perfect. Perfect, darling. Perfect. Oh, goodness. I just got it on my... I just got it on my greenery. Oh, please. I need these wipes to have to come out all in one bunch. 
let me clean off my greenery. Okay. Double check your carrots before you put your greenery in them and make sure if you want to color them, do it before you put your greenery. My husband is having a sneezing spell. Do y'all hear him? He's on the other side of this wall in the man cave. And he's the man that sneezes about 20 times, but not all together. He'll sneeze, and then he'll do it again, and then he'll <laughs> he just goes on and on. Sometimes I sit there and I count them. I've never heard somebody go on forever and ever like him. Mine are close together to where I could hardly take a breath in between my sneezes. You don't hear him? Awesome. That's what's good about using the mic is it kind of drowns it out. Okay, there's that one. I think that's enough to where I can bury it and not see it. All right. Put a little dry on there. look kind of unique is you could use some Tim Holtz on these on the top where the crease of the fabric is to make it a little unique. Good enough. Okay, it's still a little wet, but I'm sticking it back down in there. See, can y'all see that? Do you agree that that looks better? Do you agree it looks better with them painted? Okay, let me do this one. Thank you for the hearts. All right. Y'all, I did good on my eating today. We went to uh, T-Bone Tom's in Kima, and I had smoked turkey and uh, German fried potatoes and a salad. And I did not eat the bread. I brought the bread home to make breadcrumbs with it. Because I'm going to make meatloaf, I think, this week. My husband loves meatloaf. And, and then tonight, I had grapes and a banana for dinner. So, put more live food in instead of all processed dead food. Our bodies are a living cell. And we need to keep putting some living food in there, right? Hi, Miss Janie. Welcome, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. Hello, Miss Donna. And guess what? I have half of my smoked turkey uh, in the refrigerator for me to have a salad tomorrow with my smoked turkey on it. Because they, they put like, um, like seven slices of smoked turkey on the plate. I just cut it in half, the slices, and I ate half, and brought half home. Okay. Good enough, and I'm going to let that stay a little wet. Okay. Perfect. Oh, 
I'm going to puff it. You know what? I think I'm going to I think I'm going to do this one too. Thank you, Donna. You know, you just have to get your mindset to it and be determined. And uh, I've done it before. I'm going to do it again. I'm going to look good when we go on that cruise. Because you know what? I don't know if this cruise will be like Carnival Cruise, but they have the ice cream machine. <laughs> I may splurge on the cruise. Maybe. I hope Talisa's watching so she'll see what I was talking about when I was telling her what I would do with that little wood bunny face. Of course, Talisa's on a trip with her husband, so I don't expect her to be watching. She's, uh, they're celebrating her husband, uh, his Patrick's birthday and all the things and just having some downtime together. So. There we go. All right. And y'all know me. After I'm done with this live, I'll continue to look at it, and I'll see something else that I want to add. That's how you lost weight, cutting back on portions. Um, well, I've never been really a big eater. I just ate the wrong things. You know, when I have a brownie, I want some potato chips afterwards. I can eat half a bag of those things. So. And then I like chocolate kisses at night, and then I want some chips after that. And I love popcorn and, yeah, all that stuff like that. All right, I think it looks better like that. I think they look better painted, right? Okay. I think it needs some more moss down in there. Moss is messy, but it sure gives it that nice finishing touch. All right, now I'm going to do some, um, what do I want? I think I'm going to do some Tim Holtz on my butterfly right here. Let's just see what it does. I may regret it, but we'll see. We'll see. Well, you can't even tell it's a butterfly. Yeah, you can't tell that it's a butterfly. It's just making it look dirty. <laughs> making it look dirty. I'm just going to go around this whole thing. Um, What would y'all do on the front of it? Can y'all see? Am I out of the camera? I sometimes forget to look up there to see if I'm in the camera. Do I need? Yeah. There we go.
I think I probably should uh, put something on the front. But I don't know, because this is just dirtying it up. Not the kind of dirty I was wanting. I could probably just take... Um, Put a flower, put big flowers on the front, or I don't really know. I don't know what I should do, but I don't like that. Um, now, if I could find the bunny cutout, um, Dollar Tree has them. Dollar Tree has these. I mean, I just, I just bought one um, that's not finished. It's unfinished. But I just bought one, so, um, yeah, this needs something on the front. What what should I put on the front? Because that, that don't look good. In fact, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go over it with some more paint. I'm going to cover that up that I just did. I'm going to cover that back up. I don't like it. I don't like it. So, put spring on it. Let's see, do I have, I have blessed family. I was looking to see what words I have. There's always ways to fix it. There's always ways to fix something that you don't like. Okay. All right. Now, let's see. Let me see what words I have. Um, maybe a bow, even though there's a bow up here wide ribbon around it. Oh, let's see. You know what? I wish the rabbits were the other way instead of that way. You know? Because um, if you put it this way, they're sideways, you know? Let's see what I got in ribbon. Let's see. We got... Oh, oh you um, hold on. Oops. I got Easter ribbon, I think, right up here. Let's see. Uh, let's see. No. That is not what... Nope. I must have already put it in my drawer over here. I'm just not seeing it. Um... See, I just thought of something. What was it? I just thought of. Um, one minute. Let's see. Uh, I don't know what happened to my... I don't know what I did with it. I had some pastel Easter. But, let me see what words I have for it. I keep these in a shoe pouch on the wall over here. I got blessed, thankful, calm, believe, thankful, harvest, and welcome. Harvest would work, the harvesting carrots, but I don't know. What do y'all think? Probably not. Decoupage an Easter napkin. Yeah. That might work too. I'm going to think about it. And I may add something later. And then I'll take a picture. But that might be too busy with um, all of this. 
Do you think it's too busy to see the carrots in the dirt? Uh, did Terry say where she got her shirt? This shirt? Oh. You know what? It's either, um, it could be the shabby tree or it could be, what's Brooks Boutique? Brooks Boutique Refab could be there. Um, that's the only two I was getting from. Um, when I was buying these shirts, so I don't really remember. So, and they probably don't have it now either, and I just stuck my finger in that wet paint. Um, I'll think of something to go on the front, uh, but I did not think about that. So, I'll look at what I have and figure that out. But I, when I take a picture, you'll see it, and I'll put it in the description what I did. I would leave it as it is, very pretty. Thank you, Loretta. Um, so I'm going to clean up my mess, and and also I've got these holes right up here. So what I had in it la last year was these beads um, in here. So I'll have to figure out. I'll have to cover my holes with some speckle, cover those. But, um, but anyway, I keep putting my finger in the wet paint. So thank y'all for being here. I've been on uh, an hour and 10 minutes or so. Um, I appreciate y'all being here and spending your Sunday evening with me. And I'll be on tomorrow. Hello, Miss Becky. I'll be on tomorrow at 3 o'clock uh, for my segment of Craft Around the Clock. And we will either, we'll do a foil technique. Um, I'm either going to do that vase or I'm going to do that big rabbit down there. I want to foil that rabbit and give him a different look. I'm not positive, but I'm going to foil something. <laughs> Have y'all seen the foil technique? It was, um, I was inspired by living a heartful life who, where I first saw the foil technique done. In fact, I've never seen anybody else do it uh, except for her, and I've done a few things since last year when I learned from her, inspired by her. And so that's what I'm going to do tomorrow on Crap Around the Clock. So I will see y'all tomorrow. So again, thank y'all for being here. Thank y'all for sharing and, and doing all the things. And remember, there is Happy Mail. And it will be tomorrow afternoon is the cutoff time for you to go on the wheel up to three times for three times that you sprinkle this out in public. That's the only way I can see them. So y'all have a wonderful night. I will see y'all tomorrow. Mwah.